James Cleverly, was heard joking to guests at a Downing Street reception that he put a little bit of Rohypnol in his wife's drink every night and the secret to a long marriage was making sure your spouse is someone who's always mildly sedated so she can never realize there are better men out there. It's not, I know the way I tell him here, but maybe it's not a joke at all. He made the comments hours after the Home Office announced a crackdown on drink spiking and cleverly told Sky News he is sorry for what he said. I, I'm sorry because it's clearly caused hurt and that's the last thing I wanted to do. It's uh, potentially distracted from the work that we were doing to tackle spiking, to help um, uh, predominantly women who are the victims of uh, spiking. Um, and, and I regret that. Now, he is in charge of the department which is responsible for tackling violence against women. So is it OK to say sorry? And, well, you know, I, uh, these days the only thing everybody demands is a sorry. What they're always really sorry for is being discovered. And getting sorry caught. they got found out, not yeah. for what they did. Now, I, there's a young member of my own family who had her drink spiked and she nearly died. Wow. OK, when she went to uni. So very, very common. I know this with the daughter at university now. Right. It's yeah. incredibly common. Yeah. 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 So, you know, for for people who've seen what happens, it is a dreadful thing. And he obviously made a stupid remark and thought he was being funny. And actually, you know, in my view, he's this is not a very clever man anyway. He has said a sorry. He seems to mean it. I don't think it's a resignation uh, matter. But I do think he needs to do more than just say, OK, I messed up. Do you, do you see there's mitigation because he didn't think it was a public comment, Mike? No, not at all. I, I've completely lost respect for him. You know, I, ca I can't look at him now and think you're the man in whom I place my faith to keep the country on the straight and narrow. Such a stupid comment. Just to extend what Yasmin said about memory or family, my niece now, when she goes out, if she's got a bottle of something, you keep your thumb over the top of the bottle permanently. You never leave it on a table. You don't, it's, it's almost like a women's handbag. You don't look away for one minute while that bottle's it's there. Not, I, I it's, have, it's a huge somebody worry. in my family who came back from a nightclub and they had a needle puncture <gasps> in their yeah. arm. So, it, so people are now using syringes. They, they, they are, but what I'm saying is, for J James Cleverly must be a very stupid man. I thought he was bright when he was uh, Foreign Secretary, although he's bright in Home Secretary. But if you say that at the Downing Street reception, where there are journalists, it is going to end up on the front but of the Daily ca Mirror. Ca campaigners on drink spiking were there. Why yeah, the hell? Yeah, I've no I mean, idea. It's really baffling. I've but no it's idea. Also, I, I think, it, it, I find it really terrifying as well on, mm. on behalf of maybe, you know, younger, you know, female relatives, um, because they're chiefly the victims, you know. Yeah. And uh, I, I can't see anything. Well, obviously, we're all agreeing on this, mm. but maybe that's a good thing. I just can't see anything that you would ever say as a joke in it. I find it so... I mean, that guy, that black cab driver, John Warboys... Yes, exactly. He used to use a bottle of champagne. Spiked. He would he'd his spike it and he'd tell his passenger, I've just not. won the lottery. That's right. Do you want to celebrate with me? She uh, would drink it, she'd be out cold, and he would then rape her. That's right, you'd climb in the back of the cab and pour them a, a glass of the champagne, to which he'd spike Drew Hypnol, OK. But the other issue that nobody's raised is, what about respect for his wife? If you use your wife as the butt of a joke about giving her a drug which is largely administered to women in order to sexually assault them, what does that say about well, the guy? Well, I don't know, because in the what end... What does that say about the well, guy? She, she probably, you, you know... know what? I, I husbands and wives have weird mutual senses of humour. Yeah, don't but they? no, so don't make it public. I think to resign. I think he should be sent on a training course well, he, with he can't very be home secretary, tough feminists who put him, who teach him for three days, like we do with car, you know, if you drive too fast, you're yeah. mm. A really tough training camp of what you Okay, send saying. him on a training camp. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Yes, let's, just, let's just pause for a sec, guys. Yeah. You've got calls. Anne in West Yorkshire, do you think it's okay? He said sorry now. Uh, no, I don't think his apology is good enough, but I'd just like to say hi uh, and Yasmin, I love you to bits and well done to Mike today. And also, um, right, um, he should have been finished immediately uh, and he, he's made a big mistake. It wasn't a joke. Uh, and also, Rishi is desperate. He should have finished him uh, from cabinet straight away. Rishi's got two daughters. But most of all, what I would like to say, you have to have a sick mindset to even say something like that. I agree. 
Um, it's odd. It's, it's, it's just strange, Anne, isn't it? It doesn't. I, when I saw the story, it was around Christmas. I genuinely didn't believe it mm. because it's such a weird mistake yeah. to yeah. make. And then I wondered if maybe alcohol was involved. That's possible. You know. I, 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 and that was my you. first response. Joe in Sheffield, yeah. what do you think about this? Oh, hello, morning. Um, I'm with Anne completely. Uh, must, maybe it's a Yorkshire thing, <laughs> but uh, she's absolutely spot on. It is just disgusting and offensive to people who have been subjected to drink spiking. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, yet again, I'm, I'm horrified, but not really that surprised. It's just representative of very inappropriate behaviour and comments from the Tory party. But okay, so you see it as a conservative thing, or is, or is it a bloke thing that it's blo blokes... A bloke isn't yeah. really able to handle this brief because he doesn't feel threatened by drink spiking, is it that? That's a really good point. And what Mike said, actually, a, a lot of the time, I, I don't agree with Mike, but he's been really great today. The, what does it say about his attitude to his wife? Mm -hmm. I thought that that was a really, really mm -hmm. good point. And um, Yasmin, I always agree with. Uh, <laughs> uh, although, sorry, I should refer to as that lady. <laughs> uh, really. As everyone else seems to when they disagree with <laughs> her. Yeah. When, yeah. when I was last on the show, speaking on the show, um, I actually raised with Yasmin the fact that people, panellists, could pronounce a name. They were calling her J Jasmine. No, who was somebody <laughs> was doing calling you Jasmine? Yeah, yeah, no, it was a really strange one that, and it kept happening. Um, no, with one particular so panellist, yeah. I think like, I'm going to call can't... myself Joan from now mm. on. Yeah, or Joan, maybe. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. I'm going to get in trouble Thank for Mike you. for Thank saying you, that. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. Oh, bye take bye. care. Thank you. Sylvia in Durham. Hi, Sylvia. Yeah, hi, Jeremy. Hi. This seems like a bad one because I know we're all agreeing and, and it's not really a debate, but it's, if we all agree on something, then it doesn't look good for Mr Cleverly. Well, me personally, I think he should be kicked out of his job because I think it was an inappropriate thing to say. I think it was, um, when we consider this country, we have a lot of it. Abused men, women, and children. Mm. We have young boys and girls going out, getting their drinks spiked, getting needles shoved in their bodies. And so, to me, considering he holds a very important position in this country, he should hang his head in shame. Well, interestingly, Mike, that's where you, you don't agree he should lose his job for this. Well, it's not that he should lose his... I haven't said that. I, I think if he was going to lose his job, he should have lost it on the day after this happened, when it was first revealed. I don't know why he was allowed to drift over Christmas. The only reason we're talking about it today is because there's been no response to well, it. He apologised yesterday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Be, because of the Christmas break and yeah. newspapers not being published. But, I mean, I, I can't look at him now as a Home Secretary and think, you know, my, my safe, the safety of me and my my family's in your hands when you make such but stupid he, comments. But also they chose to make the apology on the day they released migration figures, yeah. which they think are good news for them. Yeah. Which sounds like it's a bit deliberate, Yasmin. That's yeah. the only thing here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but the apology didn't register for me. I, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't forgive him after he said, made that apology. I just thought, what a stupid burke, you know, what are you doing being let's, Home Secretary? Let's take a call from Lloyd. This will be an amazing item where every single person says the same thing. Lloyd in Edinburgh, hi. Hi there, how are you? I'm OK. Should he lose his job? Absolutely, 100%. I mean, it's, it's an absolute disgrace. You know, there's people out there spiking folks' drinks and all that. And the, and the harm that it does to people is unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So really, I can't tell you that. That's exactly what he thinks. That's what he thinks. He's a, he's just another Tory, another bad Tory that just, you know, just. Um, yeah, I, don't, I don't know if it's a conservative thing necessarily. I, don't think, I, think, it I think it's it, you know it may be. A, a generational thing, or maybe somebody... I don't know whether he has kids, actually. I don't know whether I, he has daughters. I think, I think it's very much a sort of male Westminster bubble thing as well. We've all heard of appalling behaviour by MPs from both sides over the years towards women in Parliament. Mm. And that's an, this is an extension of that. Mm. All right, thank you, Lloyd. Thanks for all your calls. I know that wasn't... maybe. Well, a, well, thank you very much. Thanks, Lloyd. Take care.